Hi, good morning. Aunt Pauline here to start my devotion this morning. And you know my devotion is not long. Just a little inspiration, a motivation to start your morning, all right? So help me sing this song, Fairest Lord Jesus, Ruler of All Nature. Fairest Lord Jesus, Ruler of all nature, O Thou of God and man, the Son, Thee will I cherish, Thee will I honor, Thou art my glory, joy, and crown. Fair are the meadows, fairer still the woodlands, for men in the mean garb of spring. Jesus is fairer, Jesus is pure, the woeful heart to sing. Fair is the sunshine, fairer still the moonlight, and all the twinkling starry host. Jesus shines brighter, Jesus shines purer than all the angels heaven can boast. Beautiful Savior, Lord of all nations, Son of God and Son of Man. Glory and honor, praise, adoration, now and forevermore be thine. Bless the Lord, now and forevermore be thine. Fairest Lord Jesus, ruler of all nature, now, this morning, I just want to speak to you a little on surviving failure. When you have tried, and you have tried, and you have tried your very best, and your best is still not good enough, mm, it's human nature to feel like you're a failure. Mm -hmm. Then when you start looking around at others who are successful, your feelings of inadequacy gets even worse. Sometimes it, your, it is your job. And sometimes it's personal relationships. Or even your marriage where they are, you have failed. But no matter how low, no matter how low or how worthless you may feel, there is only one way to survive failure. Only one way, and that is to reach out to Jesus for comfort and healing. Yes, he's not going to judge you, no, like others would do. No, not my Jesus. He's not going to judge you, or he's not going to rub, rub your nose in your mistakes, you know, rub it in your face, telling you about your mistakes and whatever. But he will give you unconditional love and support and even guidance and he will be there for you 100% most of the time all right so he will never forsake you or he will never turn his back on you he is not an and i'll put it this way 
I told you where not to do it. If you ain't here, all these things. No, he is not. He is not. He is not so. God that gloats when you fail is not the God that gloats when you fail. Mm -mm. So, only God is perfect. We are not perfect. So we're prone to make mistakes. Only God is perfect. So as long as you live on this earth, you will make mistakes. Mm -hmm. In fact, the only sure thing in this world is God's presence. And no one else can promise you peace of mind or spiritual healing. Jesus can give you exactly what you need to pick yourself up and overcome all obstacles on the road to success. So, when you think about it, the only real failure, the only real, listen to this careful, when you think about it, the only real failure is to refuse God's help. Do you think so? Only real failure is to refuse God's help. Many times we refuse God's help because God knows what is best for us. And when he put it to us, when he give us what is best for us, we shun it. We know we don't like it that way. We don't like that. You don't like this. Sometimes we ask for some, some things. Let's say, for instance, sometimes we ask God for a, a husband. And when he gives us the husband, we don't like that, that person. Probably we're looking at somebody, you know, more dear, somebody with money, somebody with vehicle, car, truck, bus, and all these things. And sometimes God only gives us a, a, somebody with a little bicycle. Mm hmm but some of us don't believe in working together as a team to achieve what we want, you know? So sometimes we fall, but my God is so loving. That's when we fall, he, he will pick us up back. Mm -hmm. He's not revengeful. And he don't keep pushing things in our face and saying, me mean, give this already, and you know, and take it. Me do this and me do that. No, he's not like that. He's a God of second chance. Yes. So, let us, by the grace of God, endeavor. Try and do our endeavor best to please God wholeheartedly. Let us not shun away from him. He's is there 24 7 is willing and ready and waiting for us to call on him to come to him and he has his arms wide open to receive us so let us by the grace of god lean learn and learn how to lean on jesus because he is our only rock is our only fence that we can rely on so i do hope and trust that you are inspired this morning and in order for somebody else to be inspired or to feel motivated, I'm asking you to share my, um, my video. Yes. And subscribe if you have not yet subscribed. And give me a like if you like what I just said. All right. So I'm going to get something done right now. I'm on borrowed time. So... Let me tell you something. Have a peaceful day, a productive one. And remember that Jesus loves you. And if you can't be good, be careful. All right? This is Auntie Pauline saying peace out.